Okay, so let's talk about successive ionization energies. All right, and so remember that when we take away the first electron, we call that the first ionization energy, and that's I1. So what we're going to do now is remove more electrons, one at a time, and each time that's going to require a certain amount of energy. Okay, so in this problem, we are going to write the equations for the successive ionizations of phosphorus, okay? And we're going to do that for I1 through I6, all right? So we're going to ionize it six times. Okay, so to begin, let's go ahead and write the electron configuration for phosphorus, okay? So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p3, okay? And we're going to use this to identify the electron removed in each one of the steps that we're going to write out for these successive ionizations, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do I1 first, okay? So this is the first ionization. So we're going to take a phosphorus atom, and we're going to put in I1 worth of energy, okay? And we're going to remove an electron, so we're going to end up with a phosphorus plus one cation plus an electron, okay? And so that is, I1 is the amount of energy that it takes to remove an electron from phosphorus to create phosphorus plus, okay? And what type of electron was removed? Well, we're going to start out here with these 3p electrons, so a 3p electron was removed. Okay, so one of them, one of the 3p electrons. Okay, so let's do the same thing for I2 now, all right? So this is removing the second electron after the first one's already gone, and this is an additional amount of energy that's required, okay? So we're going to take our phosphorus cation that we created after the first ionization. We're going to put in another amount of energy, which is I2, okay? And it's going to be higher than I1 because they always increase as we take away more and more electrons. Now we're going to end up with phosphorus 2 plus and an electron, okay? And so this time, again, let's go up here and look, and we have three... 3p electrons, so we just removed another. So another 3p electron, okay? So that's what was removed in I2, okay? All right, so now let's write out for I3. So I think you're getting the idea, so why don't you go ahead and try it, pause this and try it, and then we'll go through it, okay? So we're going to take the phosphorus cation from the previous ionization. We're going to put in I3, which is higher than I2, because every time we take away another electron, it gets harder and harder to remove one. We're going to end up with phosphorus 3 plus and an electron. And what electron did we remove? Well, we removed the last one of these 3p electrons. So last 3p electron. Okay? So now that all those are gone, what I'm going to do is cross them out so we don't get confused as we keep on going. Okay, so all those guys are gone. All right. Okay, so let's write out I4. So we're going to take away the fourth electron. All right. So we're going to start with P3+, plus, and we're going to put in I4, which is going to be higher than I3 because it gets harder and harder to remove an electron. We're going to end up with phosphorus 4+, plus and an electron. Okay, and what electron did we remove? Well, now we're here, okay? So we removed a 3s electron. Okay? And so, let's go ahead and do I5, all right? Okay, so for I5, we're going to take what we had before, so that's phosphorus 4 plus cation. I'm going to put in I5 worth of energy, okay, which is going to be more than I4, of course. 
uh, and we're going to have phosphorus 5 plus, plus an electron. And we are removing the second and final 3s electron. Okay. Now that's important, okay, because that's our last valence electron. All right, so now we've removed the 3s and the 3p, and so I'm going to cross that out too, and look what we have left. So we have a noble gas configuration, okay? And so now we are on a, we are basically taking away electrons from the core, okay? And that gets a lot harder, okay? So when we write out I6, so let's write out I6, not much changes from the way we would write the equation. So that's phosphorus 5 plus plus I6 to give phosphorus 6 plus and an electron. But this is a ton of energy now, okay? So because we're removing a core electron, I6 is really big, okay? So I6 is huge. So we're removing a core electron, okay? So there's a big jump between I5 and I6, okay? So a really big jump, and that's how you know that you are removing an electron from the core when you go, when, you know, the, the ionization energy I5 is always, it's going to be higher than all the rest of them, but I6 is going to be much, much higher than I5, okay? And that's how you know that basically you're removing an electron from a noble gas or a closed shell configuration.